Hey guys, welcome to my second video for tonight, and I got a request, and I've also saw uh, that Norton Internet Security is running its, uh, or Symantec is running a beta for 2011 program. So I went online, downloaded um, the Norton Internet Security Suite. Uh, as you can see, it was just updated 54 seconds ago. I'll check again for you. There you go. Everything is turned on as you can see um, they integrated a couple more uh, different things like sonar has uh, been upgraded um, you know a couple of different things have changed in it um, beta is going to change a lot they run their beta for a while but I want to set out to show you guys what it can do um, these are the same links that I used in um, was that system system security I can't even remember right now what it's called the other video that will be uploaded with this one all right there we go oh of course all right so let's get going here Now Norton, from what I know, doesn't create doesn't um, integrate a web scan component. Um, so you actually get these download boxes, and then when you try to run the program, that's when it comes into effect. Right now it's working at uh, analyzing the different files that I downloaded. Okay, it already found one. This is that uh, uh, file, that first one. Just show me what it found. Okay, still waiting here. Here we go, finally. And that one was found. I think it did last time too. There you go. Sonar removed that first one from a long time ago. And it removed that one from a while ago. Right there, that one. Just keep going here. Oops. Okay, sonar is processing some threats, so we'll let it work in the background. 
Okay, so insight uh, asked me about run.exe, and uh, they recommend you know not using this file. So we'll stop the program from running. One more here. Yet again, it recommends that I do not run that program. So we will stop it. Just waiting for this window to finish here. And I'll do a quick scan. There we go. That's processing things. You can see some of the things that it's found here. Sonar has removed. High uh, low detection. Some information. Medium. So it's definitely found a lot of things. And it's still analyzing things. So what I'll do now is I'll pause. Uh, I won't pause. It just seems to be taking a while. So I'll pause for a second. Okay, I found one more threat here. That file is dead. It's still analyzing. So I'll let it work in the background here as, as it's doing things. Okay, so it's going to ask me to restart now. So I'm going to restart and I'll be back when it's done restarting. Okay, so I uh, restarted and I ran a scan with Hitman Pro and you can see it found nothing. So Norton definitely did its job and protected the system. Now um, don't be scared off of it running slow. Uh, this is because it's on my virtual machine here and it's limited on processor and um, some of the other settings, you know, I don't, didn't give it a lot of RAM or anything like that. But in real life, it actually does run really fast. And let me just show you here what kind of uh, RAM usage we got. Right now, it's actually open. So uh, we're using a little more than it normally does use. So if we close up this main window here, um, the RAM should definitely go down. I've seen it use a little as 5 to 6 uh, megabytes total. So it's, they're doing real good on the RAM um, usage, and when sonar, you know, they'll still improve sonar and different things like that. It's a good product, uh, especially if you're looking for something that you want to pay some money for. The only thing um, that I haven't seen a lot of it from um, is the firewall. Definitely uh, need some more testing done on the firewall by some, you know, different organizations and things like that, just to prove that it really is a good firewall. But other than that, um, it's a great little product. And that's it for now. So everybody take care, have a good night, and I'm going to go upload these videos. See you later.